Good afternoon. This is Mr. Rochester's tutorial for the distributive property Yay. on Thursday, November 15th. All right, the distributive property. Let's say we want to multiply the following express expression. X plus 3 times X plus 5. Some people use what's called the FOIL method to multiply this expression. What we'll be doing today instead is using the box method. Box method says that because you know that you need to multiply this 3 times an x and this 3 times a 5 and this x times an x and this x times a 5, you have a lot of multiplying to do. Rather than multiplying everything in your head, we draw four boxes since we have four different things, four different terms, and we'll just write what the first one is, which is x plus 3. And then we have x plus 5. So the first step is find, find the area of each of these squares. This first square here the length is x and the width is x. So the area is x squared. This box over here we know the length is 3, and the width is also x, which we get from right here. And 3 times x is 3x. When we go down here, we have a length of 5 and a width of, from the top here, this width is also x. So the area is 5 times x, or 5x. Go to the bottom corner here. We have a length of, if you look over here, this length is still 5. It has not changed. And the width is still 3. It has not changed. So I'm just writing down here so you can see. And the area is 15. So we've just found out that this length, which is x plus 3, times this width is equal to the area of this entire square. And what is the area of the entire square? We just have to add up all four sections. The first section is just x squared. And x squared, you have no other like terms, so x squared is just x squared. Now these two sections, because we have like terms, you can add the 5x and the 3x, and that gives you 8x. And the 15, it's a constant, it's a number, it's the only number in this entire region here, so that's just 15. So, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching.